in this video we derive equation of total pressure force and center of pressure for inclined plane surface submerged in a liquid for deriving this equation first we understand the few parameters so we consider inclined plane surface of arbitrary shape emerged in a liquid such a way that surface make an angle theta with the free surface of liquid as shown in a figure so in this diagram we see that this is the free liquid surface and this is our inclined plane surface so this inclined plane surface is make an angle theta with the free surface of the liquid okay and these are the top view from this inclined plane surface so when the front we see that it's look like one line and this is the top view so first we consider a is the total area of inclined plane surface so we need to find out the total area of the inclined plane surface here we consider it is the arbitrary shape some shape may be rectangle triangle circulars curve type of the shape that is a different type of the shape is possible h bar is the depth of cg of inclined area from the free surface so this is our inclined surface and g point of the inclined surface is here in a top view and we extend here in this front view okay so this height from the g point to the free surface of the liquid it is called as the h bar next term is the h star it is a distance of center of pressure from the free surface of the liquid so center of pressure means center of pressure is acting at this point p from this p point this distance is called as the h bar here we see this the f force is acting on this point so this is the p point in a front view and this is the p point in a top view okay so from this p point the height up to the free liquid surface it is called as the h star theta is the angle made by the plane of the surface with the free liquid surface that we already studied let the plane of the surface it produce meet the free liquid surface at the o means we extend this line of the plane surface and they meet to the free liquid surface okay and from this free liquid surface its name is given the point o and from this point o we draw the one perpendicular line to the plane of the surface so this is our plane of the surface okay and we draw the perpendicular line means at the 90 degree so here we see we draw the one plane and plane name is the o to o and angle between this plane and this inclined plane is at the 90 degree that's why here the word is mentioned it is the perpendiculars now here the three new parameters are used compared to the vertical plane surface and these three parameter is the here we see it is a y y star and the y bar so y bar is the distance of cg of the inclined surface from o to o plane so this o to o plane this is the g points so its name is given the y bar so it is a distance okay from the height or a distance we here use the term h bar and h star so h bar is related to the g point or a center of gravity point so similarly y term is used for the different types that is a y bar so it is related to this g point means from the g point to the o plane the distance is called as the y bar second is the y star so here in this diagram we see that from the o plane to the point p distance is called as the y star so distance of center of pressure from o o now we find out the total pressure force f so consider small strip of area da so procedure is similar as the horizontal planes or the vertical plane surface submerged in a liquid so first we consider that is a small strip of area da so here we consider this is a small strip and this area is the da and this strip is available at a certain depth that is a depth is h from the free surface at a distance y from the axis o o as shown in a figures means from these o planes the free strip is available at a y distance and from the free surface of the liquid 
it is available at the edge distance so free surface of the liquid from this point so it is called as the edge so pressure acting on a strip is the p is equal to rho g h so pressure is equal to rho g h rho means the density g is gravitational force as the h means the height means h is increase then the pressure acting on the strip is increase so pressure force df on the strip df means on this strip we are find out the pressure force so it is called as the df and then after we find out the total force acting means on this total surface the force is acting it is denoted as the f so here we consider df means that is a pressure force acting on this strip only so df is equal to pressure into area of the strip so area of the strip is the what is the area of this strip so it is a rectangular shape okay so it is denoted as the da and the pressure is the rho g h so here we put p is equal to rho g h area of strip is denoted as the da so total pressure force on the wall area so it is number of way to find out the total pressure force means here we make the number of strips so here only one strips are there so this way may here we make the eight or 10 strips and then after do the summations of these equations but for avoiding these summations just we do the integration so integration is also the summations of the number of strip so f is equal to integration of df means total pressure force acting on the inclined surface is the integration of this df and df is equal to rho g h into da so but from this figure means from this figure we need to put this value of h okay so here we are making the three different triangles so here this angle is theta okay from this theta first point is this y and this y is at the certain height that is the h that we mention here it is a depth h from the free surface of the distance y from the o means from here the distance is h okay so here we make one triangles okay so this side is the h and this side is the y from this point here we see we make the second triangles that is the h bar means from this point we make one triangle here okay so this angle is theta this is the h bar and this side is the y bar we also make the third triangles this is the h bar sorry h star this is the y star and this angle is the theta so from these three triangles we can write out the one equation of the sine theta because this is the opposite side this is the adjacent sides and this is the hypotenuse so sine theta is equal to opposite side upon hypotenuse so sine theta is equal to from this triangle we can return sine theta is equal to h upon y from these triangles we can return sin theta is equal to h bar upon y bar from these triangles we can return the sin theta is equal to h star upon y star so this angle is same okay that's why we can return together this equation sin theta is equal to this this okay and here we need to put the value of h so we are not consider these two part just we consider these triangles so sin theta is equal to h upon y so this y is supply with the sin theta so h is equal to y sin theta so in this equation we putting this value of h is equal to y sin theta and rho g and the sin theta is constant so we are not do the integration of this constant parameters so y and dy is the changeable factors okay so we need to do this integration of the y into da so when we do the integration of y into da we get this a into y bar okay then after what is the y bar so we already study y bar is the distance of cg from the axis o to o so f is equal to rho g sin theta instance of these parameters we can write down the it is the y bar into a now what is the value of sin theta into y bar so sin theta into y bar means we consider these triangles of this middle triangle so sin theta is equal to h bar upon y bar so we get this equation h bar is equal to y bar into sin theta so in this equation sin theta into y bar are there so instance of this parameter we can write down this h bar so this is our equation of the total pressure force f that that 
f is equal to rho g a into h bar. So this equation is similar as the vertical plane surface and the horizontal plane surface. Now next we derive this equation of center of pressure. Before moving ahead, I request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to FMHM and other subject of mechanical engineering. For FMHM, various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car. For other subject, I request to visit the playlist. Now next we derive the equation of center of pressure h bar so what is the h bar h bar is the distance between the free surface of the liquid to this point p now what is the point p point p at which the total pressure force is acting so here we find out the f and f is acting on the certain point it is denoted as the p point and from this p point we find out the height up to the free surface of the liquid it is called as the center of pressure for that First, we consider this equation of the pressure force on the strip df. df is equal to rho g h da. That is already mentioned in the last slides. And instead of the h, we can we can put this value that is a y sine theta. Okay, so here we already make these triangles, and from that we can consider rho g y sine theta into da. Now, for find out the center of pressures, we need to take the moment. Okay, so moment of the force df. About the axis OO means here we take this moment of this surface area. So df is multiplied with the distance, it is called as the moment. So df into y means we are find out this moment of force for this df means only for this particular strip. So it is df into y. So what is value of df? df is rho g y sin theta into da into y. So here y is two times okay so it is converted into the y squares other equation is as it is that is rho g sin theta this y is multiplied this y so it is y square into da now sum of moment of <coughs> all such a forces about the oo means this is moment of force for only these strips but we need to take the moment of whole the inclined surface means it is also called as the sum of momentum of all the such a forces about the OO means for that we need to do this integration of these equations okay, so we do this integration of this equation then after we are able to find out this moment for whole inclined surface so integration of rho g sin theta y square da we already know that these parameters are constant so we not need to do the integrations integration is due for these only variable factors so here we do the integration of y square into da so y square into da is called as the moment of inertia of the surface about oo planes and it is denoted as the io means instance of this parameter that is integration of y square into da we can return as the io means in this equation this rho g sin theta is as it is instance of this part we can return the i o that is the moment of inertia so this is our equation number one second is the moment of total force f about the o is given by this equation means we can take the moment of this f force onto these o planes so this is the f what is the distance up to this plane so distance is the y star so it is f into y star is also the moment so this is our equation number two what is y star we already know now equating these two value means we equating this equation number one and two because the answer of these two equations are same that is the different in just a way okay so we equating means f into y star is equal to equation number one that is the rho g sin theta into moment of inertia so here no h star are there so we convert this equation into the y star first okay so y star is equal to rho g sin theta into i0 divided by f now in these equations we put this value of y star now what is the value of y star so we already know that the y star is equal to h star upon sin theta so here we make the triangles in the last topic okay in the last slides so sin theta is equal to h star upon y star so y star is equal to h star divided by sin theta we also derive this force so instance of this force we put the rho g a into h bar and instance of moment of inertia i0 
So I zero by theorem of parallel axis I zero is equal to I G plus A into Y bar squares. So in this equation, we putting three value. That is a Y star, F and a I zero. So here we take these same things. So we substituting this value in this equation number three. So first we putting this value of Y star. Instance of Y star we written the H star divided by sin theta. So how it is coming? It is coming from this triangles. Other part that is a rho g sin theta is as it is. Instance of I O we can written I G plus A into Y square. How it is coming? So it is coming by this theorem of parallel axis that you study in strength of materials or theory of machine subjects and for the f we already derived this equation f is equal to rho g a into h bar okay so here we instance of f we can write down rho g into a into h bar so h star is equal to so the first this rho g and rho g is cancelled this sin theta is supplied on the right side this sin theta into sin theta it is sin square theta this step is as it is so first this rho g rho g is cancelled sin theta is supplied right side so it is sin square theta Further, we simplified these equations. So, how we further simplified? So, we know that the h bar upon y bar is equal to sin theta. Okay, so here h bar term is there, or y bar is equal to h bar upon sin theta. So, here h star is equal to sin square theta upon a into h bar in bracket ig plus a. It means instance of this y bar, we putting h bar sin theta so here it is a square so here we need to add it is the h bar square upon sin square theta now then after we open this bracket so when we open this bracket the sin square theta upon a into h bar is multiplied with the ig plus this value or these equations and this equation is also multiplied so first it is ig into sin square theta divided by a into h bar then after this part is multiplied with this. So sin square theta, sin square theta is cancelled. A is cancelled. One times the h bar is h bar is cancelled. So plus only the h bar is remaining. So this is our equation number four, and this is our final equations. So this equation is similar if we put the theta is equal to ninety, and the sin theta value is sin ninety is equal to one. Okay, so when the theta is equal to 90 degree, so it's behave like as the vertical plane. So we also know that suppose this inclined plane is at the 90 degree. Okay, so this theta is equal to 90. So it is convert into the vertical planes. So what is the equations for the vertical planes? Equation for the vertical plane is the h bar is equal to ig upon a into h bar plus h bar. So in this equation, sine square theta is added here, then it is converted into the equation of the inclined plane surface submerge in a liquid so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends